So this is a massive conference table build. It's going to be 18 feet by 6 feet wide. This is Claro Walnut, which came from GL Veneer. Being that it's going to be a river table, I'm going to start with cutting it down the middle so we can then take it to the slab miser to have flattened. Now the reason I'm cutting it first before I flatten it is number one, to help me be able to move it a little bit easier, and number two, to help keep as much thickness as possible. Being a one-man shop, you definitely have to get creative with moving all these big things around, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Once I had them up on the workspace, my next goal was basically just to flip them and turn them and spin them and try to see what the most appealing river would be. Now onto the slab miser to get them nice and flat. So back in the shop, I want to square up all the ends and get it nice and trimmed up. Also want to spin them around, clean the live edges. When you pour resin, you want to make sure all the bark is cleaned off. There's no debris, there's no dirt and there's no dust. So that was the goal of all of this right now. So once it's all clean and I have the full size of what the table's gonna be, I can now start thinking about putting it into its form. I'm using a double-sided melamine. Now, when you form this up, I always do it with screws so you can then easily take it back apart. Any seams and butt joints you might have, I typically do any kind of house sheathing tape that could be uh, Tyvek, that could be tuck tape, uh, whatever the case is. Now, what I did not show in this video, which is extremely important, is you have to put some sort of epoxy release agent on the melamine before you put your slabs in. If you did not do that, the epoxy would adhere to the melamine and it would be quite the nightmare to get it apart. Being that this is such a ridiculously amount of resin, I wanted to do three different pours on this. So the first pour I'm doing right now, I let sit for about 36 hours and now I'm getting ready for the second pour. Now, the reason you wanna do this is because whenever these two resin and hardener mix, it creates a chemical reaction which produces a ton of heat. And if there's so much resin with so much of this heat coming together, it increases the cure time so much that it could potentially crack your resin. So after 72 gallons of Total Boat, it is all ready and cured and ready to take back to the slab miser to be flattened. Again, it is so important to use an epoxy release agent. You can notice how easily this is delamming from the melamine, and that would not be the case if you forgot to use the release agent. Now, what I did not show was flattening it on the wood miser again. So back to cleaning up the edges and squaring off the ends. I typically make my tables a few inches larger on the width and the length, just so you can come back, get it out of the form, and make sure that you're able to cut it down to the dimensions that you're going for. Now, after everything is sized up, it's time to start focusing on the bases. I decided to make some jigs, and the reason I decided to do this so I could repeat them on all three bases. This form is right at a quarter inch larger than what the base plates are gonna be, so that they're gonna be able to fit in there nice and easily. I'm using a flush trim plunge bit to route out these pockets. 
to help prolong the life of the filter and the dust bags, I really, really can't recommend enough the pre-separator for the Fez Tool dust collection. Super easy to empty and uh, take on and off of the dust collector. It's great product. I really like to add the wooden inserts to the table just so you can have the ability to remove the base if you needed to do that. Makes it nice for delivery, for moving, whatever the case might be. With such large tables, it's always nice to be able to call on your friends because there's no way I could lift this thing by myself. It's just too huge. and out the door for quite the challenging delivery. But I really love how this fits in its space. I'm so grateful to have done this table and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you.